To request for issuance of import LC, first log into Yono Business from yonobusiness.sbi with your Yono Business or E-Trade credentials. Next on the Yono Business landing page, click the Trade Finance icon on the side menu bar to access all trade-related products. On the Trade Finance page, you can view a summary of all your trade transactions. You can click on any product or number to get the details. If you're maker come checker, select the desired role by using the toggle bar on the top right corner of the page. System checks for KYC compliance and prompts user if it is due. To request for a new import LC, click on import icon and select import LC from the side menu bar. Place the request for a new import LC by clicking Create New LC in the Issue LC tab. You can also request for a new LC by using an available LC template from the Template section or continue from the Save Draft from the Save Draft section. Total LC Limit, Utilized Limit, Available Limit and Margin are displayed in this page. In case of any issues with the limit, you may place the request and contact the RM or branch for necessary action. Users may request to mark Lien against deposit accounts if needed. Mark Lien requests can be used in case sufficient margin is not available. Select your deposit account, mount and duration of Lien from the Mark Lien request link. Enter the Lien amount against the account number. Enter the duration of Lien and submit the request. Verify the details in the preview screen and select Confirm. Mark Lien request has been sent. Message is displayed along with the details. The request is forwarded to the branch for action. The request form has been divided into six sections for easy navigation. Users can access each section by clicking on the band to fill the required details. The first section is LC details. All mandatory fields are indicated by asterisks. Swift tags are indicated in parentheses. Fill in all mandatory fields. The second section is bank and other details. Select details of advising bank ID by clicking on search BIC link. Search for bank ID, bank name using keyword to find the required bank. Operator such as contains, equals, begins with are available for easy search. The name of matching banks are displayed on clicking filter. Click on the bank ID to select the desired bank. The third section is Shipment Details Enter Port of Delivery by clicking on the Search link. Search for Port Code, Port Name using Keyword to find the required port. The name of matching ports are displayed on clicking Filter. Click on the Port Code to select the desired port of delivery. Search for the desired goods code by clicking on the Search link. Maximum of 5 goods can be added to the list. Additional goods can be added from the Add Goods Code link and searching for the desired goods. Search using Goods Code, Goods Description, Import Goods Type, Corresponding Medium, Category to find the required goods. The name of matching goods are displayed on clicking Filter. Click on the Goods Code to select the desired goods. Enter presentation days as required from shipment, bill of lading, any other date. Fourth section is the documents required and additional conditions. Fill or paste details of documents required and additional conditions. Enter the contract details, PO number to complete the section. 
Fifth section is the undertaking section. Enter the start and end date of exam policy. Accept the OGL terms and conditions and other terms and conditions by clicking on the checkbox. Sixth and final section is the document upload section. Upload all mandatory documents in PDF, JPG or JPG format by clicking on the folder icon and selecting the required file. Click on the upload file hyperlink to upload the selected file. Maximum file size permitted for upload is 2 MB for each document. Only underscore and hyphen symbols are allowed in the file name of the document to be uploaded. Additional documents can be uploaded from the Add Document link. Green ticks indicate all mandatory details have been filled and the Submit button is enabled. Click on the Submit button to complete the request. Partially filled form can be saved anytime using Save as Draft. For frequent transactions, save the form as a template by clicking on Create Template and providing an appropriate name. The template can be saved as public or private. After submitting the form, you can preview the submitted form before final confirmation. Verify the details in the submitted form and confirm the submission. The LC reference number is generated on confirming submission. Submitted form can be downloaded in PDF format from the View and Manage Transactions tab by filtering for status pending with Customer Checker, followed by clicking on the LC reference number and saving the file from the Export As link. Click on Export button to download the file to your computer. You can click on the notification icon on the top right corner to know the status of all existing import LC. Synchronous messaging feature is available to facilitate communication between corporate users and branch for any clarifications. Corporate customer can click on contact us icon to view email and help desk contact numbers. Customers may send email to the support desk with screenshots of their issues for resolution. For urgent requests, customers may call the customer help desk. Once the request for issuance of an import LC is submitted by the customer maker, the request needs to be approved by the customer checker. Where the same user is a maker and a checker, use the toggle bar to select the checker role. If the checker is a different user, log into the Yono platform with the checker's credentials. In the Authorize LC tab, toggle between Tile and List views to see all import LCs that are pending for approval. The checker can search for the desired LC to be approved with the reference number or beneficiary name. Select the import LC to be approved. Multiple import LCs can be selected simultaneously. Checker can click on the Authorize button to approve or the Reject button to reject the request. Approve the import LC by clicking the Confirm button. To authorize the LC later, remove it from the list by clicking the Delete icon. The request for issuance of import LC has been successfully authorized. If the checker rejects the request, the LC is sent back to the maker. The checker needs to state the reason for rejection so that maker can act upon it. The maker can resubmit the rejected LC from the View and Manage Transactions menu after making necessary corrections.